Hi everybody, it's Celeste here with the Chibitronics design team, and today I'm going to show you how I make paper circuit lanterns. I think Chibitronics materials work so well with paper lanterns because they're lightweight and really flexible, so they work really nicely with paper. And the technique I'll show you uses one simple light strip that I'll show you how to make, and then you can really get creative with what the lantern looks like. There's no one right way to design your lantern, and I think it's a lot of fun to experiment with different materials and techniques to create interesting lantern designs. So to make a paper circuit lantern, I'll make a light strip, and then the lantern body, and then we'll put them together. I'm going to start with the light strip. To make the light strip, you'll need a blank light strip, and you can print these or cut these out yourself or use a craft cutter to cut them. And I will provide a link for the template. You'll also need some conductive tape and Chibitronics LED stickers. I'll also in this video show you how to make a light strip with the circuit effect stickers too. So let's start by making a light strip with just the LED stickers. I like to start by adding my conductive tape traces to the negative and the positive sides of my light strip circuit, and I also try to make sure I'm following the template uh, circuit diagram pretty closely. Next, I'll pick out the LED stickers that I want to use, so you can use as many or as few as you want. I find that three is usually a pretty good number. It's important to make sure that the stickers are oriented the right way with the negative side of the stickers touching the negative side of the circuit and vice versa. And finally, I'll grab my coin cell battery and give this circuit a test just to make sure that everything is working well. And it looks great, so I'll fold up that battery pack into the off position for now, and I'm going to set it to the side. And the light strip template that I'm going to share with you shows you how to fold that battery pack into on and off positions. I'll quickly repeat this process with another light strip. And this one is designed to accommodate a Chibitronics circuit effects sticker so that you can create a light strip with some subtle lighting effects like blinking or fading. And same thing here, I'll test the strip with a battery to make sure it works and then I'll put it to the side. And now all of our light strips are done. So the next step is to make the lantern. So this is a really popular and common paper lantern making technique. And I think an 8.5 by 11 piece of paper tends to work really well with these light strips, but it's up to you. So I'll start by laying down my paper in landscape orientation and cutting a strip off the end that's about an inch wide. So now my paper is only about 10 inches long. I'll put that strip off to the side and use it later as the lantern handle. Next, I'll fold that paper in half and I'll bring the bottom edge of the paper up towards the top. And then I'll cut roughly even lines all the way down the paper. Make sure that you don't cut all the way through the paper. And you can also experiment with how much space is between your cuts to create different effects with your lantern. And the way that you'll make this into a lantern is just by unfolding it and bringing the edges together to create this really fun cylindrical shape. But first, here's something special that I add to paper lanterns. I like to take a sheet of vellum paper and cut it down to about eight and a half by six inches. So what this does is it helps diffuse the lights from the light stickers to create a nice glow for your lantern. And after I've cut the vellum, I'll rotate it around so that the edge that's eight and a half inches long is now the width of the paper. Next, I'm going to grab one of my light strips and I'm going to start gluing everything together. I'm showing you the way that I like to do things, but you can certainly make little adjustments according to your preferences. So I'll line the vellum up with the bottom folded edge of the light strip and I'll glue on one side of the vellum paper to the back half of the light strip. Then I'll roll the vellum into a tube and glue the other side to the back half of the light strip. So now my light diffusing tube is all done. So the next step is to attach that light diffusing tube to the lantern. 
I'm going to glue just the top and the bottom corners of one edge of the lantern to the back side of the light strip, just like I did with the vellum. It's really important to not glue the whole edge because we want the height of the lantern to match the height of the vellum tube, so we want some squishiness to it. And then I'll repeat this on the other side. It's a little bit wobbly, so you might want to add some extra dots of glue to things to even them out. And finally, I'm going to grab that strip that I put to the side earlier and glue it on to create a handle. Now our lantern is all done, so let's see what it looks like in the dark. If you try this project out, I really encourage you to experiment with everything. Try using different materials like fabric or oil, play with the shape of the lantern, experiment with the number or the color of lights, hack the light strip. The light strip doesn't have to be this size. You could cut it down or make it circular. There are so many possibilities to explore.